But let's talk education now. Action Aid Nigeria has called on the federal government to declare a state of emergency on education and convene a national conference on university education in Nigeria to rebuild the system. The country director, Ene Obi, while briefing the media in Abuja, said the step will ensure the children of the poor get quality education. Helen Osamede Akins reports. The academic staff union of university have embarked on numerous strikes since the late 1980s, with the frequency of the strike on the increase in the last few years. Again, ASU is on strike and the federal government is negotiating with the body to reach amicable things. Students in public tertiary institutions have borne the brunt of this endless strike. It is no wonder the quality of graduates continue to drop. The union's demands, on the other hand, have always bordered around an improvement in the conditions of service. But there appears to be a graver problem which involves quality and standard of teaching, infrastructure, and the general government structure of the entire education system in Nigeria. This is why Action Aid Nigeria is demanding that the federal government should declare a state of emergency on education to rebuild it and ensure it meets international standards. This is part of your investment in the human capital development, and uh, that is uh, investing in the human capital resources to develop the human resources for your uh, economy. This is non-negotiable because that's the highest of nations' investment. Any leadership that is not investing in that is a failure of governance because you are working on the stage, leaving it worse than you met it. Nigerians are also urged to join ASU's call for the revitalization of the universities and for the federal government to take urgent steps to end the strike. Investment comes from, we know that the Nigerian government can look for the money. It's about priority. When you look at a nation's, you know, a, a, a nation's uh, budget, it brings out priorities. Budget states nations in, in, in priorities. But when you are looking at the priorities that we're having in Nigeria, it's not tilting towards that, and we need to be able to look at that. We cannot sit still. The federal government must show commitment to improving the quality of education in Nigeria by promptly attending to the needs of the education sector. While other countries are seeking advanced technologies to improve quality and access to education for their country and the world at large, Nigeria is still left behind in the attainment of SDG 4. Helen Osamedei Kings, TVC News, Abuja.